Hey, what's up you guys? I am back with another video. My name is Dai and welcome to my channel. I'm actually about to go on vacation. A little quick one to the Mexico Cancun. Um, this is probably like my third solo trip out of the country. This is my first time in Mexico though. I've been to Brazil and I've been, I've been, I've been to Brazil and I've been to, I've been to Brazil and I've been to, I've been to Brazil and I've been to, um, Dominican Republic and both trips I enjoy by myself so I'm looking forward to going to Mexico I've been to Mexico like I'm sure all of us have been to Mexico a bunch of times but anyways yeah so I've been to Mexico a plethora of times but this will be my first solo trip and I'm looking forward to it so I'm about to I'm actually running late 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 so I'm uh, I'm gonna check with you I'm gonna check in with you guys when I get to like the airport or something what's up I am at the airport I'm about to board finally I don't know what's going on here but Things have been looking a little, 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 um, I don't know. Like, I'm not really getting the vibes, but you're gonna see. I'm about to go on this plane, call it a day. I'll holla y'all when I touch down. He's here! Yeah. Yeah, palm trees, white sand, 13 hours my flight land. They got Italian leather my right hand. Swan here my right hand, man, like two fives on the dice land. I got a 10 with me. Bad shawty from Sin City. And shawty got friends, yeah. I'll 10 of her friends, pretty. I'll 10 of them 10s. I'll 10 of them, you know I'm spending. I bought you that new binge, yeah. I stepped in the MG, I'm feeling rich as fuck my chin. What's up, what's up? I made it. I have touched down in Cancun. It is gloomy. It is gloomy here the weather is looking crazy but hopefully guys hopefully you guys can hear me but uh yeah the weather is looking really really crazy right now um it's interesting to be here again like since the pandemic has been over like since like nobody's wearing masks anymore because i feel like during the pandemic it was so packed here and everybody was like everybody was like wandering is that a word wandering everybody was trying to get here so everybody was coming here because you know mexico was open uh, because Mexico was open, but yeah, I'm right now I'm waiting for my transfer, and um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all when I get to my resort. I'm excited, I'm ready to get from over here. Got rinse clean, I'm star player to the winning team. Diamonds hitting in the baggage lights. Dummy cars, guess I played them right, bro. Tell me, killing shit, great advice. Okay, shit, don't say it twice. I work hard, but let's play tonight. I'm in the upper ranks of this game in life. I blacked out, drinking white. I'm back now, but I'm taking flight. I'm trying to fly out somewhere with. Someone but somewhere where there is Palm trees, white sand, 13 hours my flight land They got Italian leather on my right hand Charlie Hill, that's fireman Like two fives on the dice land I got a 10 with me Bad shawty from Sin City And shawty got friends, yeah I'll ten of her friends pretty I'll ten of them tens I'll ten of them not spending I bought you that new Benz Yeah, this shit go
Punta Cana. Punta Cana? Oh, people say that it's nice over there. I don't know, I've never been there. <laughs> I went to the Royal Sashik there. Oh, thank you. Like it? Mm -hmm. We do registration on the left. And to the right restaurant, all the way down to the end, we have a snack and drink if you want item. Okay, look at Fortunately, we already closed the reservation. Pretty good, are you? Uh, uh, you have to give this to you? Yes, yes. Passport? Everybody go find it. Thank you. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Alright, so this is it. Here you have the same proposal bond service if you use. Just punch a code of six numbers and okay. the pound and it locks. You choose your own six numbers. Okay. Alright? You have an steamer, sleepers, bathroom, extra pillow and blanket. You also have the, the shower, the toilet and the shower on the other side. Your hair dryer and um, scale down there. The thermostat for air conditioning is right here, sir. Arrows to increase or decrease temperature. Reading lights in here. Then you have here the mini freeze. The guys who stop the mini freeze every single day. All right. And in the other side, I'm in sorry, right here you have the, the coffee maker. Then uh, here you have your television. The most important thing on the television is that if you're looking for uh, movies, it has an extra charge. But if you're looking for food, room service is 24 hours and complimentary. Okay? What you need to do is order through your remote what you want to have and as soon as you finish ordering the guys are going to call you here just to confirm pretty easy all right you just go around with the arrows select what you want to have and it's so so easy all right okay perfect then senor the way that i am in touch with my people is through the whatsapp messenger do you have whatsapp mm -hmm. sir Okay, first impression, this room is big. I was not expecting this room to be this big, but it's big. Oh. So I'm on the 13th floor, a little higher than I would have preferred, but um, I guess we'll make it work. I don't like this big wall right here. That's kind of weird, but I guess it gives me privacy. So I guess I'll deal with it. Okay, so they gave me a welcome drink when I first got in here. 
I'm just gonna this right here. Don't know what it was. Didn't taste like any alcohol at all. But I bought some alcohol from the Duty Free. Um, some uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Don Julio Reposado. So this orange juice, I guess this what this is, was in the mini fridge. So I'm about to pull me up a little something something to go along with this. Um, and so I go find something else to drink. I think I'm gonna go to the Sky Bar. First things first, like the first, my first impression of this resort, because I came to the same resort, resort in, um, uh, what's it called? Punta Cana? Yeah, Punta Cana. And <laughs> so I came to the same resort in Punta Cana and I liked it, but, but it was bigger than this. Kind of sort, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it was bigger. This is a smaller resort. It goes up versus, you know, it's a high rise versus a, um, a flat. Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna pour it up in there like that. Keep going. Ooh, don't make a mess though. One thing I did forget to bring with me, what I always bring with me, which I'm kind of upset that I forgot, is a tumbler. Is that the word I'm looking for, tumbler? I don't know, but something to put my drinks in. I'm kind of upset that I don't have that, but it's fine. Okay, so I made my drink. This water is beautiful. Again, I don't care for this big wall right here. I did not bring a hookah with me this time. Um, I did not even check a bag. This is my first time going out of the country without checking a bag. First time, never did that before. Um, and I actually like it. But they supposed to have hookah on the top floor. So I'm about to go, that's about to be my first stop. I might have dinner up there and have me a hookah. But the thing about up top, top floor is that I can drink for free up there still because I um, purchased Diamond Club. But food is a la carte and you gotta pay, for, not, and I gotta pay for the hookah. So I don't mind doing that. Just like being back home. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight. So I'm about to go up there right now. Um, hopefully the wind is not blowing too hard and you can actually hear me. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in this room. Now I see why you choose your room because I can't even see the the pool that says Royalton in it. Like I can see this pool, but that's the boring Diamond Club pool, I believe. And I can't even see the pool that says Royalton, but I'm not gonna complain. Okay, this is my drink. Yo, I did not clean the mess I made earlier. Let me grab something. And just so you know, I'm at Royalton Chic Cancun. I don't know if I, I stated that. I haven't even looked at these yet. Oh yeah, I did. These are fire. These are fire. Got them from Amazon, but I'm about to put these on. Not that I need them because it's not bright outside, but it goes with the look. <laughs> and then I can look at other people while they're not looking at me. And they can't tell I'm looking at them. <laughs> oh, child, you can see right through your glasses. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. You can see right through these glasses. These big behind eyes you got. Who, who, who you trying to get over on? Okay. And shawty got friends, yeah. I'll tell her friends pretty. I'll tell her them tens. I'll tell her them no, I'm spending. I bought you that new binge, yeah. I stepped in the MGM, feeling rich as fuck. My chin up. Album drop, I just hit them up. Like, fuck, nigga, just give it up. Niggas ain't real, man, the jig is up. I'm on Ace of Spades, I'm drunk as fuck. Smoking on niggas, I'm blunt as fuck. I want smoke with the winners and runner ups. Coming at Taylor, that's dumb as fuck. Now your fans just looking like, what the fuck, nigga? And your bitches like, uh, got a ten toes. I'm back in my room. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Clearly, I don't know. I have no idea what I want to do. Like a part of me, and not even a part of me, because I feel like it's not really what I want to do, it's just what I feel like I should be doing kind of thing. So I feel, hold up. This rooftop is still going and it's after six. They told me it was supposed to be closing at six. I could've got a hookah. But I kinda don't want to even get a hookah, but just like, look at this environment. It's so gloomy out here. It's not bright at all. And the hookahs are $75. Nobody mentioned that. 
but I can't expect people to mention that because I feel like I'm like a, a hookah connoisseur. Like, anywhere I go, I wanna smoke hookah, right? So, everybody's not like that. So it's probably not on their list of things to do. But I'm like, I need to make some friends so I can split this cost. Like, I don't mind paying $75 for hookah. But it'd be nice if I could split it with somebody. <laughs> I mean, I'm on vacation, so I'm going. I'm going to do it regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm smoking hookah. I'm smoking. I'm smoking hookah. So, oh yeah. So I had a, a few drinks too. That's why I'm lit. That's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. That's why I am the way I am. Um, somebody did tell me about a pajama party. I knew nothing of this pajama party. I don't wear pajamas. And, uh, I mean, I did bring some lounge clothes, so I guess I'll wear that, I guess. Um, the sun's not out, but it's not cold. But I've been chilly most of the places I've been. If I don't do anything, I don't know what I'm about to do. Literally, I'm about to, well, my phone's almost dead. It's like at 23%, so I'm about to let that charge, so I'm about to probably, like, lay on the bed. Maybe play some games on my phone or watch TV or something like that until I figure out what I'm going to do. I'll probably go back up to the rooftop and then tonight go to the pajama party. If I do do one of the two things, I will not have this phone, I mean this camera with me. If I can get some clear footage on my phone, then I'll do that. But if, if the footage isn't clear, I'm not posting it. So, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> follow me on Instagram, die Teflon. And that's where you would get the non-postable on YouTube footage that I don't mind posting on Instagram. Stories. You yeah, feel me? You yeah, feel me? All right, I'm still not feeling this wall. I'm gonna keep mentioning it because if you come to Royalton Chic, um, I won't say necessarily because they do give you the option to um, reserve the room that you want. I don't. I won't necessarily say. I won't necessarily say you should do that because that's like a sixty dollar charge extra on top of everything else. Um, but when you get here, I would tell them that I want to be on the right side of the building facing the beach versus the left side of the building facing the beach. So get on the right because the right will show more um, of the property line. Like right now I'm on the left, far left, all the way at the left. So I'm at the end of the property line. Um, let me see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about though. So you guys can see a piece of the, the pool that I'm talking about, but I can't even see it over here at all. Like from my vantage point, I can't see it at all. But y'all can see it. I can see the, I can see it through the camera that y'all can see it. But what's interesting is I see some jet skis that I might want to partake in. Y'all, I did jet ski. Jet, the first time I did jet skis before, and it was not a good experience. And I told myself I probably would never do that again. Because, like, I flipped it. And that's not cool. I don't know. Three hours later. Okay, so first of all, telling myself I was just gonna lay down until I charged my phone was a whole setup. Two hours, actually three hours later, because I, once I woke up, I laid in bed for another hour. So yeah, um, I should be rejuvenated, but I'm kind of not still. Listen, I barely ate today, and when I did eat, I ate a lot, and my dinner did really, 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 really gave me the itis. So the itis coupled with the four drinks that I had today, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go and hunt for some ice cream. I actually was told about a pajama party, but I don't think I'm gonna go to the pajama, pajama party, honestly, because I don't feel like it. I just wanna go to sleep. Well, I just wanna lay down and watch some movies and then start fresh tomorrow. You know, I kinda wish I got here earlier today. Like, I saw a YouTube video where um, somebody was like reviewing a, a resort where they said that, that basically they get there as early as possible and they check their bags with the concierge downstairs and they enjoy their first day, like a full first day before they can even check in. So like check in is usually at three, but they get there before, like hours before, and then like drink, eat, enjoy the, you know, the area <laughs> before they even check in. I'm like, that's smart. But by the time they said that, I'd already booked my flight. My flight was booked months ago, right? I just wasn't sure if I was actually gonna come, but my, my flight was booked months ago. Um. So, with that being said, I mean, there was nothing I can do about that. But in the future, going forward, if I'm going to resort, I'm about to book my flight early in the morning. I got sleep in my eyes. Yes, I do. Um, I'm going to book my flight early in the morning 
so I can get there and, you know, enjoy the day. Like, so it can be a full day, you know, because I'm only here for three nights. So, yeah. Yeah. And on a on a way on, on a way out too, like get kind of kind of like a later flight, you know, so you can enjoy that day too. You can like get, check out and still be there. <sighs> Who's stopping you? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll uh, I'll film some some stuff while I'm out. I'm feeling rich as fuck, my chin up Album drop, I just hit them up Like fuck, nigga, just give it up Niggas ain't real, man, the jig is up I'm on Ace of Spades, I'm drunk as fuck Smoking on niggas, I'm blunt as fuck I want smoke with the winners and runner-ups Coming at Taylor, that's dumb as fuck Now your fans just looking like, what the fuck, nigga And your bitches like, uh Got a ten toes deep in the sand Sipping on Rose, he is the man He being me, I'm him, my nigga Reaper the shit, look grim, my nigga And the competition so slim, my nigga Yeah My life cannot go down, nah yeah, prawn trees, white sand, 13 hours, my flight landed, got a tiny leather, my right hand, swan here, my right hand, man, like two fives in the dice. Minus nine. Okay, so clearly this is where the pajama party is at. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. Trying to make it to the buffet so I can get some um, ice cream. Okay, back in the elevator. The restaurant, the buffet, was closed. Um, I was cutting it close, y'all. I was waiting there, like to the last, last, very last minute. So that's all my fault. And um, so I literally walked into that restaurant at 11. I was trying. She's like, I'm sorry, we're closed. I was like, okay, I was just trying to get some ice cream. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm sorry, we're closed. I mean, I heard that part. <laughs> Where you guys headed? Sure, uh, oh, okay, off, off the uh, resort. <sighs> um, but yeah, I was trying it. I should have got my lazy but kind of my bed. I really wanted some ice cream. I really, 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 really wanted some ice cream. I really was pressing, I'm cutting it close. Like I could have been got out of bed before nine o'clock and went down there, but it's cool. I didn't need it anyways. Um, so I'm gonna lay my home back in bed. The uh, pajama party did look like it was popping though. I will say that it did look like it was jumping. I'm not a partier like that though. So I'm really not pressed to go to the pajama party. And I didn't know about it anyways. If I had pajamas, I would definitely put pajamas on and went. But I didn't. I don't have pajamas, so I'm not pressed about it. I'm about to get comfortable. So, y'all might not see me again tonight. Y'all might catch me in the morning for breakfast, though. I, and that, as a matter of fact, I need to figure out what I'm going for breakfast. But, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. What's up, you guys? I just want to check in real quickly. Um, I just woke up. Well, no, I didn't. I lied. <sighs> Um, so I just got out of bed <laughs> and here's a mess, so don't mind anything in the background, but I just got out of bed. Uh, I ain't washed my face yet. I ain't doing nothing, but I just ordered some room service because I don't know, getting food delivered to me versus me going to a restaurant just sounds better to me for breakfast for today. I'll go to a restaurant tomorrow. I know I said I was going to go to, um, breakfast today, but in a mimosa does sound really, really good, but I think that's what got me the itis yesterday and I don't want me to be feeling all lazy because the day ain't even start yet but i want you guys to see these views i don't know why but jet skiing i don't know i just want i'm just looking at it and see it looks intriguing but i don't want to do that i don't know why i'm even talking about it but i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do today so Look how skinny I am. That's crazy. Look how skinny I am. So last night, I told you guys I was about to watch a movie and get in bed or whatever. Man, that movie watched me. Um, I was trying to watch Extraction on Netflix. Like I downloaded it before I left Atlanta and so I don't, wouldn't have to stream it. So I downloaded it there. Um, and <laughs> the movie's so slow. I tried watching it before and it was slow. I, I didn't remember that it was slow. I'm not watching it no more. I'm not gonna try anymore. Maybe I'll just skip Extraction because I want to watch Extraction Two, but maybe I'll just ex I'll skip Extraction One and just watch Extraction Two 
If y'all watched it, tell me, let me know how y'all like it. Like, or if y'all like it or not. I don't know. But <sighs> this water looks so beautiful to me. Like, I love how it's like really, really dark blue all the way in the back. And then it's like a vibrant, like, what's that color blue? I'm cerulean, cer 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 cerulean blue. And then it's like teal blue in the front. Like, that's so cool. I think cerulean is the word I'm looking for. I don't know. But, um,. They said the room service could take 45 minutes, so I was like, okay, let me just get up right now. Because I was about to watch that movie, but it was just too slow. I wasn't paying attention to it, so I was like, let me just get up right now, take a shower. That way, when the room service gets here, I'll already be ready. Shower, Take a shower, get dressed, and then eat my, um, my breakfast, and then get out. I'm thinking I want to go grab some hookah um, that starts at 12 on the rooftop. So that'll be some vibes, um, and then have some drinks up there as well. I'm trying to think what else I'm going to do for today. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe check out a pool or something like that. I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Um, I'll probably just bring my bag with me. So that way I can just keep you guys in my bag. <sighs> I hate to carry the bag with me, but yeah, I'll, I'll just do that. But I'll holler at y'all later. But really quick, I just wanted to show you guys my room service. So here's some yogurt, um, some orange juice, some assorted fruit. Some eggs, bacon, and sausage. I asked for some. I asked them if they had any um like um uh, patty sausage, but I guess she must have forgot. <laughs> and then they said this is some toast, which I don't. I'm not eating this, but it does look good though, doesn't it? But yeah, just wanted to show y'all that. Okay, this is what the fit is given right now. You know, just a little, what is this? Like a net cotton net shirt. Some, uh, what is this called? <laughs> this is like a, a cobra snake skin shorts. Some trunks from um, H&M. The shirt is actually from Amazon. I wore this when I went to DR as well. That is LV. The glasses are, um, what is these glasses from? These are the glasses I had on yesterday, but they're from PacSun. And some old busted up Yeezys that I have on, some Yeezy slides. I do want to show you guys outside. Again, I guess. <laughs> um, it's hot, right? I'm about to go up to the rooftop. Ooh, we got fogged up just now, didn't we? But yeah, I just want the vibes. So I'm about to go give me a hookah. Um, hopefully all the tables are not taken because I am not paying. I think they wanted like $200 for a cabana, but it came with, I think it comes with a hookah, but you have to buy a bottle. So $200 plus the bottle, however, however much that costs. Listen, I told, I said, I put this on my, uh, my threads earlier, but, um, Cancun and Tulum has become Houston and Atlanta. Like y'all tried it in Cancun. Like why is hookah cost, why does hookah cost that much here? It costs that much because they know that we're spending it where we live at, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all, but I don't spend that. <laughs> hey. So I think I'm a little early when it comes to uh, being up here. I don't really care for like big crowds anyway, though, so I think I'm still gonna go ahead and order my Oku Club. Um, I haven't made any friends here, um, so it's gonna be just me, and I feel justified. Well, I, I gotta, I guess I gotta make sure that they actually are serving hookah right now anyways. I probably should ask that, because nobody has hookah yet. And I'm at one of these, like, side tables, so, um, I'm about to ask if I can see, because if not, I'm not about to based in this heat up here, you know? Niggas ain't real, man, the jig is up. I'm on Ace of Spades, I'm drunk as fuck. Smoking on niggas, I'm blunt as fuck. I won't smoke with the winners and run her ups. Coming at Tiller, that's dumb as fuck. Now your fans just looking like, what the fuck, nigga? And your bitches like, uh, got a ten toes deep in the sand. Sipping on Rose, he is the man. He be and me, I'm him, my nigga. Reaper the shit, look grim, my nigga. And the competition so slim, my nigga. Yeah. My light cannot go down, nah. Yeah, palm trees, white sand, 13 hours my flight land They got a tiny leather my right hand, swan here my right hand Man, like two fives on the dice land, I got a 10 with me Bad shawty from Sin City, and shawty got friends Yeah, I'll ten of her friends pretty, I'll ten of her friends I'll ten of them all spending, I bought you that new Benz I stepped from the penthouse to the lobby floor to the limousine ATM got wrist clean, I'm star player to the winning team Diamonds hitting in the Vegas 
lights Got me cars, guess I play them right, bro Call me killing shit, great advice Okay, shit, don't say it twice I work hard, but let's play tonight I'm in an upper race for this game of life I'm blacked out, okay, so white I just got back to my room I just took a quick little break I'm about to go back to the rooftop The rooftop is lit, as you can see However, I was invited into a cabana with uh, a group of people that saw me check in yesterday by myself. And so they was like, hey, do you want to come? You know, we see that you, we saw that you check in by yourself, checked in by yourself. Do you want to come and hang out with us? Excuse me. We have this cabana until six. So I packed up my hookah and took it over there. So I'm over there with them. I felt like it was a nice gesture. So I was like, hey, I'm about to go to the bathroom. And then when I get back, I'm gonna take my camera upstairs and then I'm gonna come back down. Um, but yeah, I really, really appreciate them. They were from Missouri and Louisiana. So um, I am sweaty as you guys can see, um, but I'm having a good time. I'm on my second hookah. They actually had a hookah as well and they ordered bottles. Um, I'm not gonna drink what they have because I'm drinking tequila, but I told them I was gonna be right back, so I'm literally about to put you guys down and go back upstairs. I just didn't want the, my camera just sitting in the heat. Cause I'm about to go get in the pool and I haven't been in the pool yet, so yeah. Okay, so I'm supposed to be at dinner right now. It is now currently 6.19 and it is, and I was, my dinner reservation was at six o'clock. Um, let's just say. Okay, you better twerk. <laughs> let's just say. My. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm too lit to even come up with the words I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's just say, okay, so I was on the rooftop for, I got up there a little after 12, it is now 6.20, and I'm supposed to be at dinner at six. So I'm gonna quickly change, the reason why I'm late, and I'm late because this dude was so infatuated with me that he pulled me into the bathroom stall. I'll leave it at that. So, that's why I'm late. That's why I'm late. But, in addition to me being late, uh, I'm so irritated, I can't even say the words I'm trying to say. In addition to me being late for dinner, I don't have my cell phone. I don't have my bag that my cell phone was in. Because I left it at the cabana that I was sharing with the group, the group, friends, the group of friends that invited me over. But because the person dragged me into the bathroom stall, I don't have my phone, my wallet. What's my wallet in there? Oh, well, my wallet wasn't in there. I don't think my wallet was in there. My cash, my AirPods. So that's the bulk of the things that, you know, is worth anything. That's what's in that. Uh, yeah, but, I did meet some cool, oh my God, so cool. So, so, so cool. Czech Lovakia. I can't, I remember when, in, when I was in school and I first learned about this country, I was so intrigued by the name Czech Lovakia. Czech Lovakia, Czech Lovakia. If I met these, I don't even know if they were brothers or not, but they were together. They were so cool. Um, <clears throat> story time, so 
last night or yesterday I had an amazing time like I don't know <laughs> so I went to the rooftop as I told you guys I was going to the rooftop and the hookah was actually $35 I don't know if it was like after a certain point it's such a certain um, amount because last I mean the, my first night when I got here they literally told me it was $75 and I was tempted to to get it um because I really want a hookah so needless to say, I ended up getting two hookahs like back to back um, because I was impressed with that price. I was like, okay, this is decent. I, I don't mind paying $35 for a hookah. Okay, so that was the first thing. That was cool. And then um, while I was smoking, after I got my second hookah, I'm already like three or four drinks in, um, this chick came up to me. Apparently she saw me check in. I think I already explained this, but I'm, I'm not sure. I was, I don't remember. <laughs> But anyway, she um, saw me check in, saw me check in, and she walked up over to me and was like, hey, we saw you check in yesterday by yourself, me and my friends over there, we have that cabana, and you, you're welcome to come over here with us and hang out with us if you want, we, we order bottles, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I was like, okay, cool, thank you, I appreciate it, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely come. So I packed up my stuff and I literally walked, walked over right over there with her, like right behind her. Because I was like, that's what I was hoping for. I was kind of like hoping, I'm not an outgoing person at all. Um, but I will hang out with other people, but I don't want to like, I don't want to impose on anybody, right? But everybody like, when she said it, um, she like, you know, uh, pointed at her group of friends and they were look, like looking at me like, you know, it's cool, you know, come over. And it was like a mixed crowd, like black and white. Um, and so, yeah, anyways, th that had nothing to do with it because I was not expecting anybody black to be over there since she was white. And I'd already thought in my head, since she came over here, I'm definitely, it's, the, uh, it's definitely a yes, you know? Um, and so, yeah, so that happened. So I went over there, hung out with them. And then I wanted to get in the pool because they was gonna have a phone party at three. That's what they was telling me. So I was like, okay, um, I didn't know that. So cool, it's a phone party at three, bet. So I got in the pool, had so much fun. You guys, I had so much fun yesterday. Got too lit. Um, so one thing I liked about, you know, being with them is that I had my camera, I had my camera with me, I had my wallet, I had cash. No, I didn't have my wallet, I had my bag. Um, and I had cash and my AirPods, all that, and my shoes. I was able to leave all that stuff. My AirPods in here? Yeah. I was able to leave all that stuff in their cabana versus on the table where I was. Cause I was gonna get in that pool regardless. I was tempted to get in that pool and swim my hook at, at the same time. But I was like, mm, I don't know. I have to like change around some stuff. But yeah, anyway, so got into the pool, was able to leave my stuff over there. Y'all, I went to the bathroom and it was the time, like it was at the time, like six o'clock is when they close up there. Is when the party ends. Up, or, Goodness, get your words together. Six o'clock is when the, the party ends upstairs. And so I went to the bathroom like right right at six o'clock. Man, when I came back out, my bag was gone. My shoes was gone. What else I have? Just the bag and shoes and everything in the bag, obviously. So I was lit at this point. I'm like, okay, it's not here. I think I went up to the bar and asked them if they saw it. If somebody turned it in, they said no. So I took my behind to my room, to my room and laid down. Miss dinner, dinner was at six. My plan was to go to dinner still, right? Glad I didn't. But my plan was to go to dinner, um, was to come up here real quick and change, but then I realized, and I think I actually did change. Did I change? No, I didn't change in anything. But my, that was my plan. But then I was looking for my shoes, cause I was like, where's my shoes at? And then that's when I realized my slides were down there. And that dad was missing as well. Cause I, for, I was asking for my bag. I forgot that I had shoes. Like I had got so comfortable walking around with my shoes off that I did not even think to, you know, ask them if they found shoes. So yeah. So needless to say, I missed dinner and I was kind of upset cause I was, I had the Asian restaurant um, booked. What I might do though, is I might just go to the restaurant that I have booked for tonight. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, then I will be leaving and going and walking into the other uh, to the other place. But so, as far as my outfit today, I'm not wearing any shoes <laughs> today. I'm just gonna be bumming it on this hot behind. Ah, oh, damn, it's just gonna be hot. Like, as far as my feet. Like, upstairs on the rooftop, that floor was so hot, it was crazy. I just wanted to give you guys a, a little quick story time and update of what happened last night, because that was crazy. Then I lost my stuff. But, oh, I forgot. So, 
when I tell you I was up here sleeping, my phone, this room phone was ringing. Oh, my cell phone was in my bag too. I didn't have my, I didn't have my cell phone. But anyways, I honestly did not notice that I did not have my cell phone until they were calling me and told me that they found my bag in my cell phone. In my, well, they said my bag in my cell phone. They didn't mention the money or anything like that. But they called, when I tell you they kept calling, I was in here sleeping and I kept getting woken up by that phone keep calling. They may have knocked on my door as well, but I would not have heard that because they don't knock aggressive enough here. <laughs> so I wouldn't have heard that, but that phone was getting my damn nerves. So I finally got up. When I finally got up, I ended up, um, I, got, I guess I got up too fast. When I got up, actually they, was, they told me to come down and you know, I can come to the front desk and get the, and get the um, they told me I could come down to the front desk and get my bag and my cell phone. I went back to sleep and then I woke up and I was like, okay, let me just go down there just in case that person shift change, um, you know, they get off or whatever and they're not there anymore. So I went down there, but when I got up, I went and threw up. I had to throw up. It was crazy. I was drinking, I drank liquor, tequila. I think, I don't think I had anything else other than tequila because the frozen drink that I had was a margarita, a frozen, a frozen strawberry margarita. I'm trying to think what else I had. I had beer because somebody gave me beer and then I had some champagne because they had like they was popping champagnes at the pool so I was like like they was popping bottles at the pool I was like okay that's what's up I didn't know what they was going to do honestly I thought it was going to just have people drive the boat because it was like six maybe six people that were standing up on the side of the pool with bottles of champagne in their hands so I just thought that they was going to just pour be pouring in people's mouths but they ended up popping them like shaking them up and popping them and like squirting at everybody so it got in my hair <laughs> it was fun though like I was living in the moment I was lit at that point when I tell you these white boys love me these white boys love me it kind of remind me of like my military days when people were like like I had like all these white people that were um, my friends and stuff like that I kind of miss that I hate being around like just black people <laughs> I like mixed crowds I'm sorry I really do so upstairs when I saw how the environment was once I was about to get into the pool I would notice that it was like blacks everybody everybody was in the you know whites everybody was in the pool I just know I was gonna have a good time so yeah I gravitated well it's not me gravitate gravitating towards the white guys the gra white guys the white guys gravitate towards me so um yeah so that was that um so yeah I'm about to go grab something to eat because I'm hungry I was trying to like hydrate and stuff like that because your boy, let's go. I'm talking too much. Okay, so I was directed to come to the gift shop so I could find some shoes and these seem to work. So I guess I'm gonna wear these, you guys. They're 30 bucks by the way. <laughs> but it beats walking around barefoot because I felt really, really ghetto. I'm actually really happy that they suggested that girl. Cause I didn't think, like, I'm the type of person, I don't think about the obvious things. Like, it will take for somebody to tell me, hey, have you have have you gone to the gift shop to see if they have some slides? It never would have occurred to me. I'm hungry, but I'm about to go check out outside because I haven't been outside since I've been here. Like, I haven't walked through these doors at all. And... Oh, wow, look how it all so I actually said I wasn't going to get in the water today, but I think I'm about to go upstairs and change and get my ass in this water because I'm here so lit. I'm gonna be a little bit of 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 a little b
wanted to check in really quickly because I'm about to find something to do. I don't know. I really don't want to get in water right now, and I really don't even want to drink. But <clears throat> I feel like I haven't been doing things. Um, doing things. I feel like I haven't done enough stuff since I've been here. So what I'm about to do, I was going to come up here, honestly, and take a nap. That's what I was about to do. But as you can see, well, we probably can't see, but my housekeeper did not come. Um, she came this morning really early, like around 8-something, and I was still sleeping. And I told her to come back later. I left around 12, um, and she hadn't been back prior to me leaving, so I expected I expected for her to have come um, while I was gone. So I called so I can have them come up and clean um, because it's only two, two, it's only two o'clock right now, but I don't, I don't want um, the day to continue and me thinking that, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll be passive and allow her to give, give her time to come clean. No, I want to make sure she actually gets to clean. So yeah, that's why we're here. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm about to go do though. Um, I just had some pizza, some pizza I should not have had. I ate it three different places just now. Yeah. Um, so I had, there's this area where they cook like stuff on a, like on a barbecue. So I, not a barbecue, like a, um, what is those things called? Like a grill. And so I had some smoked chicken and like pork chop. The pork chop did not look like it was all the way done. So I didn't eat all that. I ate the chicken and I had some beans and rice. Just a, a few ham, um, just a few bites of the beans and rice. Um, but that didn't satisfy me. So I went to the buffet. The buffet was trash. I'll never go back there again. Um, <laughs> and then I went and got pizza because I remember they had this area where you could get, um, you can grab pizza to go. So I, I did that and I brought it back up here. It was shrimp and pepperoni. Um, never getting shrimp on a pizza again. It's, it doesn't add anything to it at, at all. Um, it just looks good, I guess. And really that, it doesn't even really look good either. But anyways, um, I really want to take a nap. I really, really do. Um, but I'm thinking about going upstairs to the rooftop again. Um, I kind of want to just like chill somewhere. Um, I did bring my Nintendo Switch. I'm thinking I want to go do that, like play my Nintendo Switch and probably like watch a movie while I'm doing that. So take my AirPods, my Nintendo Switch, get my phone. Um, or listen to a podcast or something about playing the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. I don't know. We'll see. Peace.